All right, what's going on guys, Ryzen here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 beta gameplay. Today we're going to be comparing two weapons, that's going to be the Man of War and the MAA7. We're going to try to figure out which one is the best, and try to figure out which is the best assault rifle within Black Ops 3. I hope you guys will enjoy the video, if you guys could drop a like, I would greatly appreciate that. It helps the video get a little bit more exposure, and also helps the channel grow, and if you guys are new, Make sure to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. But before we actually get into the pros and cons of both weapons, if you guys could let me know down in the comment section if you've used either of these, and if you've had success with them, or if you haven't used them, let's say you're using the ARC-7, that's the AK-47, the futuristic one, if you've used it and you've found success with it, just let me know down in the comment section on pretty much which is your favorite weapon so far within the Black Ops 3 beta, I really would appreciate that, and like to know your guys' opinions on the weapons so far. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Meta War. The Meta War is the second assault rifle you unlock. I think you get it like around level 7 or something, and in my opinion, I think that it is one of the best assault rifles. The description of the Meta War says fully automatic assault rifle, strong damage, with a slow fire rate. If I had to pick a weapon from a past Call of Duty, it's probably going to be like a SCAR. I think that it has really good damage, medium fire rate, it's not like a really, really fast fire rate, but it's not too slow like uh, what was like like a BAR or a BAR from like World at War. It's not like that slow, but it's a decent moderate fire rate, and I feel like you can do well up close and far out. So now we're actually going to talk about the stats of the Meta War, and just for the sake of the video, we're going to be using the stats in game. I don't actually have number stats that's it because I usually get my information from the Den Kirsten forms but they have to go on the PC side and go into the game and look at the files and the game actually doesn't come out for PC until next week so just for the sake of the video we're going to be using the stats in game hopefully for the next upcoming episodes we'll actually have actual numbers so hope you guys will understand about that so the Man of War has a pretty solid stats it's not like one thing is really really good and then another thing is kind of lacking it's kind of like an even playing field we have 11 damage nine range eight rate of fire and nine accuracy so like i was saying it's kind of like a a steady plane it's not like really really high damage and then a very very poor range so i think that it, it kind of handles itself out and like i said i think it's kind of like the scar that's what at least what it feels like to me it feels a lot like the scar a better version of the scar i guess i should say i think that it's an upgraded version so if you would have to put it in like an advanced warfare this would be the legendary version of a SCAR. Uh, the next weapon we're going to be covering is the M8A7. This is another very good assault rifle. I feel like this one and the Man of War are the two best. The ARK7 is another good one, but I feel like these two are the best, and it feels like these are the ones that I do the best with. So, the description of the M8A7 says a four round burst rifle, high cycle rate of fire with minimal recoil. I definitely feel like the description of the M8A7 holds true to the gun because it does have a very high rate of fire and there's pretty much no recoil and if i had to pick a weapon that this reminds me of from a past call of duty it's gonna have to be the m8 from black ops 2 i think it's like pretty much a copy and paste but i think this is a better version of the m8 from black ops 2 so the stats aren't as level as the meta ward there is some peaks in it the damage is a 5 the range is an 11 which is actually really really good the rate of fire is 7 and the accuracy is a 14 so it's pretty much no recoil but because there's no focus or toughness within black ops 3 it kind of makes it seem like the recoil is kind of high but it's technically not if you just go up against a wall and start shooting there's pretty much going to be no recoil so now it's time to decide which weapon is the best to start off within black ops 3 before we actually pick a winner i want to say that the m8 i feel like is a kind of like a submachine gun it does really good up close into the medium range but once you get so far out there it does kind of lack in the killing power it does have very good range but the damage is so low that it doesn't really compensate for the higher range and the man of war is pretty much the exact opposite it does really good in the medium range engagements and very good in the long range engagements but it kind of struggles in those shorter close quarter engagements so before we act so i just want to go ahead and state that for you guys i feel like they're both the best assault rifles but they kind of have their strong points and their weak points. The Man of War, I feel like I'm the most consistent with. I can get more kills, less deaths while using the Man of War, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the M8 is worse. I feel like they're both pretty much tied. I just think that the Man of War has kind of got better strong suits, it has better pros than cons, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I feel like the Man of War is the best assault rifle within Black Ops 3, just slightly above the M8. So, Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys could drop a like, like I said at the very beginning, I really would appreciate that. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Until the next time, I'm out. Peace.